Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. Today I'm bringing you guys my Charge Blade sets. My apologies for the delay on this video. I was having a rough past week, week and a half, dealing with finals and school and stuff. But nevertheless, here it is, so let's get started. So before I get into the actual sets, I just want to talk about two things. Number one, yes, I know Impact File CBs only scale off of Raw and not Sharpness or Crit. <clears throat> Number two, although your files do a lot of damage, your weapon's main attacks and your SAED slam, which is arguably the strongest move you have, do benefit from sharpness and crit. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, let's get started. As always, I warn you guys, these are endgame builds, and as so, they require endgame materials and rare decorations. The weapon we're going to be using is, of course... The Chad Blows Tyrannus 2. Or the less Chad Tarith Strong Armhorn. They're pretty much identical. Pick the one you want, it doesn't really matter. I have it augmented for a health region augment and an affinity augment. I don't really recommend any other augment combo, to be honest. You'll get the most bang for your buck from this setup. You'll be healing a hell of a lot from the amount of damage that Charge Blade does with the health region augment. And the negative affinity essentially helps your DPS because you are a lot less likely to land in negative crits. The first set I'm going to be showing you guys is the main deal, the big boy pants setup. Because the better you are of a player, the more benefit you'll get out of this set. I only really recommend you use this set if you're decent already with Charger Blade. Or at least as clean as I am. Anyway, for the helmet, we're going to be using the Kaiser Crown Gamma, slotted with a Charger Jewel and a Tenderizer Jewel. The chest piece is the Damascus Male Beta, slotted with three Artillery Jewels. The gauntlets are the Draken Vambraces Alpha, slotted with a Magazine Jewel and an Elementless Jewel. The coil is the Kushala Cocoon Gamma, slotted with two Attack Jewels. The boots are Dante's Leather Boots, slotted with one last Attack Jewel and one Iron Wall Jewel. And the charm is the Handicraft Charm 3. As a whole, this would give you maxed out Handicraft, level 4 Attack Boost and level 4 Critical Eye, maxed out Weakness exploit, focus, and artillery, capacity boost, one level of guard, and a non-elemental boost. I think the build kind of speaks for itself, really. It has a hell of a lot of free damage and crit, and by free damage, I just mean stats from skills that don't rely on certain conditions being met, like peak performance and maximum might, to give you those stats. I don't really count weakness, weakness exploit in that regard since you should ideally always be hitting weak spots or at least most of the time. And we also have one level in guard in, in all of these sets actually since it'll allow you to guard point pretty much anything. But to be fair using this set assumes you'll kill whatever it is that you're trying to kill fast because the bump in sharpness that you're banking on goes away pretty fast so if you don't make a good use out of that little chunk of sharpness then you're not really getting the most out of this set anyway the second set is an alternative to this one this one using master's touch so the armor for this one consists of the kaiser crown gamma slotted with an elementless jewel and a magazine jewel the chest piece is once again the damascus male beta slotted with three artillery jewels the gauntlets are the kaiser van braces alpha slotted with one attack jewel the coil is the damascus coil beta slotted with three more attack jewels and the boots are the kaiser greaves gamma slotted with a tenderizer jewel and an iron wall jewel and the charm is the handicraft charm three as a whole, this will give you 4 levels of attack boost and critical eye, maxed out weakness exploit, focus and artillery, 3 levels of handicraft, capacity boost, 1 level of guard, and a non-elemental boost, as well as the Teostra Technique set bonus, Master's Touch. With this set, you have a bit less sharpness in exchange for Master's Touch, which in theory should extend your sharpness. And there is no real limit to how much you could extend it by, assuming you are hitting the monster's weak spot often, therefore critting often, therefore extending your sharpness's lifetime. So if you like having sharpness for a long time, consider this set. If you do want to have your sharpness for a long time, but you don't like Master's Touch, don't worry, I have a razor sharp set for you. For our third set, we're going to be using the Zenajiva Headgear Gamma, slotted with one tenderizer jewel and two attack jewels. The chest piece is the Damascus Male Beta, slotted with an attack jewel, an expert jewel, and an iron wall jewel. <laughs> the gauntlets are the Draken Van Braces Alpha, slotted with a charger jewel and a magazine jewel. The coil is the Zenajiva Spine Gamma, slotted with an elementless jewel and an artillery jewel. The boots are the Zenajiva Spurs Gamma, slotted with a mighty jewel and two artillery 
Auxiliary Jewels, and the charm we're going to be using is the Exploiter Charm 2. As a whole, this would give you 4 levels of Attack Boost, 3 levels of Critical Eye, Max Star Weakness Exploit, Focus, and Artillery, 2 Spare Levels of Blight Resist, 2 Levels of Critical Boost, 1 Level of Power Prolonger, Capacity Boost, 1 Level of Guard and Maximum Might, a Non-Elemental Boost, and the Zinajiva Set Bonus, Razor Sharp. This will give you a bit of an extended lifetime on your sharpness regardless if you hit a weak spot or not, which is definitely way more consistent. Thing is, you don't have any handicraft on this set, so your sharpness is pretty low to begin with, but you do have a bunch of other nice skills on here as well, like a spare level of power prolonger, which is great, or your empowered sword, and it also has two levels of critical boost, which is a bump in damage that neither of the other sets could get. And of course, you have all the other skills you will ever need for Charge Blade. So if you want a bit more consistent build that extends your sharpness's lifetime, I would highly recommend this one. Anyway guys, those are my sets. I hope you guys like them. Of course, if you guys will have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, let me know what you would like to see next. If you enjoyed the video, a positive rating would be very much appreciated. And if you guys like the content, be sure to subscribe. Anyway boys... Thank you so much for watching, stick around for some more spicy content coming your way, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.